All right, so if you followed along on the previous video, then you should have a bunch of things installed onto your machine, including the JDK, uh, Laos, Laos installed onto your NXT, IntelliJ, Phantom Driver. So now we want to actually program our little robot to do something, right? So of course at this point we need to launch IntelliJ, so let's launch that. If you've never used it, then just press OK. If you're using the pro version, you have to fill this out so that way it recognizes you as having a license. You can choose our theme, light or dark. I prefer the light theme. And I'm just going to stick with the newer key map. Not going to worry about any of those. Not going to worry about any of that right now. We're just going to start using it. All right, so very first thing, create new projects. Let's just do Java. And we'll do JDK. And we'll have to find it. So. So go to your HD. From the hard drive, I'm going to go to Systems and Library. And let's find framework. Their framework is. And Java. Here's Java, Java VM, the virtual machine. Home. There we go. So 1.6. So that's that's good. That's fine. We can hit next. Let's go ahead and actually create from a template. And let's create from the Hello World template. And we'll just call it Hello World. Alright, and it will launch. And we have tip of the day. You can read those if you want. It's a good idea to read them. As you learn more about programming and about IntelliJ and about Java, these will start to be beneficial. Early on, you might read it and be like, I don't know. I don't have a clue what it's saying. But as you get further in, it'll be it'll be useful. Alright, let's um Let's click project. There we go. That's what I wanted. So I like to see this here. Whether or not you want to see it is sort of a personal choice on your part, but I like to see it. So right now, what we have, let's zoom in a bit. So command. Colors and font, fonts. All right, save as. Def presents. All right, twenty, twenty-two. I think that looks good. Do we like Menlo? Yeah, Menlo looks okay. All right, and let's do this to one point one, maybe one point two. Looks good. All right, so what we have in here, we have our public class main, we have our public static void main, we have system out. Yeah, everything looks fine. I like this to be more there. That looks good to me. So this bracket stops there. Here's our command line. This bracket closes there. We're good. So we actually don't really have to do much, right? This will work pretty much the way it is. Now let's try it out and see what happens. So what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to go ahead and right click on this. And I'm going to tell it to reveal in Finder. There we go, here it is, main.java, and I'm just going to duplicate it, drag it here, and let's delete that copy out of there. All right, I prefer to do it this way just because it's easier to find using the terminal, because now what we're going to do is we're going to use the terminal to put it on our NXT. So now that we have our main.java here, we're ready to actually launch the terminal and upload this to the brain. So I'm just going to go to my launch pad and I can go find terminal in the other category or the other folder or I can just search for it. Make this a little bit larger. Now before we can convert the file and upload it to the brain, there's something we have to do. So I talked about some of the stuff on Laos earlier. 
and if we go to the NXJ part we have some of the different options here including tutorial and in tutorial we have getting started for the Mac and if we scroll down we can find a gray box of code that we need and that's this now the computer seems to forget this or at least mine sure does so it's not necessarily a bad idea to bookmark this or to actually just copy and paste this into a notepad file or text edit file or something like that keep it on your desktop so you can easily go back to it over and over again without having to re launch your browser and re go to this website and find it each time But that's a personal preference thing so I'll go ahead and copy and paste each one of these lines into the terminal again just like before and I forgot to change my username so let's try that again alright that should be better now I need this one and lastly this one alright so it should be happy now what we do we type in nxjc and then the name of our file so main.java and we press enter and what that will do is that will change this .java file or it will keep the .java file but it will make a new one as a .class I forgot to go to my desktop let's try this again cd desktop so that way it knows where to find it now that we're in my desktop I'll try that command again if I just press up I can access previous commands and there we go now we have this little coffee cup here which is the same program but as a class file which we can now put onto our robot so at this point you need to turn on your robot you need to plug in your robot the website says to connect the robot before turning it on so I'm just going to go in that same process we'll turn it on and now what we're going to do is we're going to go in XJ R in the name of the application I don't need to add dot class onto it that class is just what we put them in as it's not needing that extension to actually launch it now what this is going to do is this is going to not only transfer the file but also run it as well and that's what this hyphen R does if you want to not have it run automatically you could remove that and then you could manually find the program itself in your brain if you want to instead but I'm just gonna go ahead and have it run at the same time and if yours did what it was supposed to and you did exactly what mine did you should have seen basically nothing happen and your robot just restart and you might be saying well why didn't I get to see Hello World? Just because you didn't see it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Let's go back to IntelliJ and reopen our file.